What's up, everybody? This is Stone Mandalorian here. Thank you for tuning to the channel. So, bear with me. I'm getting used to this whole screen sharing shit. I told you I'm a caveman. I'm learning all this shit from scratch, coming out from the country, trying to get used to this old technology. But um, I think I am slowly getting the hang of it. And uh, so, this came out. This was released yesterday. The Bad Batch Season 3 trailer. And I've actually been re-watching it i started re-watching it a lot shortly before christmas or like after the new year and uh it's a really cool little show i enjoy it uh and it's starting to kind of by the looks of season three it's really starting to delve deep into some legend stuff like mount tantus and like emperor palpatine's secret experiments and the cloning process and stuff like that so it's pretty interesting man and uh we got some pretty cool surprises unfortunately this isn't like a first reaction i have it was released yesterday and I was at work and I was scrolling. I didn't want to see anything spoiling the trailer. So I just went ahead and watched it. I was going to try to wait till I got home to do a reaction video and stuff, but couldn't wait, dude. So I was at work watching it and it kind of blew my mind, man. Uh, I was really excited. I already, like I said, I already love the show, but the trailer just got me hella hyped. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. Now, I want to make sure I get the volume this time. I hope it gets the volume this time. Sorry, I know this is probably annoying. I might have to trim this out. Yo, so hopefully the volume went through that time. I have to fix it if anything, but man, uh, that was, that was awesome. So initially when I seen Ventress, I was very confused, man, because I haven't read the novel yet, but Dark Disciple, it goes more in depth of Asajj Ventress and Queen Levasa's relationship. They fell in love with each other. He brought her kind of back to the light side. And Count Dooku actually... Was about to, he was about to send a barrage of Force Lightning at Quinlan Voss, and Asajj actually took the brunt of it and saved Quinlan and died in the process, or apparently, so it seems. And, dude, when I first saw her, my mind was blown. This is, we're getting the look, the Clone Wars look with her hair grown out in the yellow saber. Like, Dark Decide, we were going to get... For season seven of, of Clone Wars, Dave Filoni had an arc placed out for 
Ventress and Quinlan. And it was going to be what ended up being made into the novel, the Dark Disciple novel. And I really, I really want to read that book. I've heard it's very good. Um, I do know bits and pieces and I know the gist of it, but, uh, dude, just seeing her with the yellow saber and her hair grown out after she's been a bounty hunter and stuff like that. Just so awesome. I'm surprised. Supposedly they, they're making this. It's not going to be like retconned or anything. they're going to make it align with the book. So that book, Dark Disciple is still canon technically. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they do that, which is kind of what I was thinking what was going to happen for Ahsoka it is maybe the Death of Marian sisters would kind of revive Maul in some way or form, just because that, the Death of Marian witches, that, the Night Sisters, that's just like, in that realm of magic, we've seen that happen and it's more possible. So if for anybody to come back, Maul and Ventress would be the perfect two to bring back from the dead. And, you know, I know with everything going on with the whole lightsabers don't kill and all that stuff going on, like people bringing people back from the dead and stuff like that. Vengeance would actually, I, I feel like if they do it right, it would be really freaking cool. And it's just all about how they do it. And we just got to be patient, let Dave Filoni cook, let them figure out, flesh this out and explain it to us of, and maybe it'll be, it'll be something crazy. You know, we'll just have to wait. Um, took a couple so, at the beginning, you know, we do see the turbo tank, the A6 or A9. I don't know what what version it is. I think it's the the turbo tank right here that they're all riding in. I think it's huge. It hold like 300 troopers and a bunch of light aircraft and speeder bikes and stuff like that. Very badass vehicle um, used during the Clone Wars, Galactic, uh, and also going on to the Galactic Civil War. Obviously, the Empire's here now. Um, very cool uh, design tank. Very badass and something we've seen before. Something else I wanted to talk about as well. Uh, I was also watching uh, Star Wars Explained. They were they reacted to or did a breakdown of the trailer, and it also looks like right here. This kind of looks like Pabu, you know, the, the place in season two, the kind of like tropical jungle planet where they kind of found refuge and the Empire had no idea of it. Um, not totally sure, but it from what he said, it does kind of look familiar, though. And try to go on through here. Omega and Crosshair, this part right here, Omega looks very young. Not very young, but like she, at, at that one, like, where is it at? Her hair looks longer. Right there. Her hair, like, looks a little bit longer, like she's been here for a minute, but she's not wearing, she, she's got a patch. It doesn't look like typical prisoner type attire. Like, she looks like she works there. See, there's Crosshair. He's got a, he's like wearing all white, like, kind of like what we see in Andor. Got two commando troopers back here. The female clones that we figured out what 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 who she was at the end of season two. Got them running from the Empire here. Got Pal dude, Palpatine. Man, this is really freaking sick. And supposedly that middle commando right here, supposedly that Scorch. I'm not really too familiar with uh those four commandos or whatever, fixer and all that. But, dude, just seeing the Royal Guards right here, flanking Palpatine, Dr. Hemlock right here, which, funny, Hemlock is actually a poisonous plant, too. I find that interesting. Got all the, got some TK troopers on this side and a bunch of commandos on this side. Very interesting. There's commandos right here. There's TK troopers back here. But, yeah, seeing Palpatine, dude, is very interesting, very cool to finally see the Emperor make an appearance. And I feel like, I feel like it was only a matter of time for in Bad Batch because of everything they were talking about. Austin, Austin, hey, it's okay. Sorry, my dog was dreaming. <laughs> but this is so awesome to see Palpatine back in here. And, oh, this part here, also very interesting. Um, At the end of season, or like middle ways, midways of season two, um, there's a clone assassin that comes after Senator Chuchi. And well, I think it was, 
one of the clones, uh, Slip, I believe his name was. And um, basically we're going to ride out Admiral Rampart for firing on Kamino and but Admiral Rampart had other di- ideas and actually had a, somehow they, they had a, it was a clone assassin. And when Rex and Senator Chuchi caught him, he didn't have an assigned clone, clone number, like CC, whatever. He didn't have a, it was like wiped clean. But this seems to be another clone. I forget in the subtitles, they said his name, but I'm thinking this is like another clone assassin, like another un, un unidentified clone that they made. That's why they don't have operating numbers. Um, so really interesting there. More commandos. Oh man. And then dude, seeing, seeing Phoenix Shand again, I really do enjoy her character. I forget the actor's name. Damn it. I can't, it always blanks on me, but love her character in the, in the Mandalorian and book of Boba Fett. It's really cool seeing her in live action, like a younger version of herself earlier, earlier on in her bounty hunting career. Then obviously we have Cad Bane right here. Very, one of the best, coolest bounty hunters out there. Um, very cool to see th- them again. And the thing about Phoenix Shand is uh, Nala Se was actually hired her to protect Omega. So it's kind of cool seeing her in season three, knowing that Omega's in Mount Tantus right now. So very interesting. Nala Se right there. Oh, 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 and I forgot about that. That's Wolf right there. Oh, man, dang, dang it. Y'all bear with me. That's, damn, I keep missing it. That was Wolf for a split second, dude. So, and we do see him in Rebels, like season two of Rebels. So, uh, we know that he ends up defending from the Empire and joining the Rebels or the good side, depending on what your perspective is. And see, there's Omega with long hair. That's the longer hair. Like, she's, she looks very dirty. Like, she's been through some shit. Like, she's been fighting. And she's piloting a ship. So maybe this is her breaking out of Mount Tantus before her brothers even get to her. You know, just kind of. I love Wrecker, dude. He's my favorite. Oh, and then uh, also two different clones right there as well. Um. Looks like a, we got like a purple color here. I can't tell what color that is on, almost looks like red. Like, it doesn't look like a Coruscant Guard, but I know the Coruscant Guard is red. I don't know. I don't know. It might, maybe it is because it's got the, I'm not sure. Rex is speaking. And, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. See, oh, at the beginning, this is something else. Where am I at? 137. At the beginning, I was watching Star Wars Explained. And he actually caught this. And I didn't even notice it, dude. Let me see if I can find where it's at. Okay, so there's Wrecker and Hunter. Didn't even notice this till I watched his uh, his video on their channel. Oh, where is it at? That could be tech falling. That 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 plane crash could have been what what the the shit that Omega was piloting maybe when she broke out, right there perhaps. Where is that part at? It's a part where it, it's. Is this it? Oh man, where is that part? I, I assumed it was Wrecker standing next to Hunter, but it was actually Crosshair with his Bad Batch armor on. And I didn't even notice that dude. I thought I just thought it was Wrecker. He said the same thing. 
And then looking at the picture that he showed, like it's definitely crosshair. There's no doubt about it. It's clear as day. Dang, Gummit, where is it? That one part, there's another scene where you see the end of a barrel and it almost looks like uh, Crosshair's rifle. Man, I can't find it. I just watched, rewatched the whole thing. But dude, the craziest thing about this is just seeing Asajj Ventures. I was so confused because like, this is after Revenge of the Sith. Count Dooku's dead, but Count Dooku killed Asajj Ventures. Then the internet blew up. Just gotta watch this. So sick, man. So I just don't, I was like, dude, Asajj Ventures is dead. She was killed in Dark Disciple and Count Dooku died in Revenge of the Sith. How is she here? And everything started coming online about how they're going to make it align with Dark Disciple and make, you know, still still make Dark, keep Dark Disciple canon. So kind of interested in the, what happened has, happens about that. A um, bunch of TK troopers and commandos, man. Um, yeah, just, just really, really crazy trailer, dude. Very crazy trailer. And I wish I could find that one part. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it, but man, so what an intense trailer. So badass. I I'm, I was already excited for season three because I know this is the final season and this is so cool, man. So badass. i uh, really looking forward to this, especially since it's size adventures. I have mixed feelings about it. I'm wondering how they're going to justify bringing her back because I thought the send off, not that I read the book like I stated already, but like. I thought that send off of her getting killed by Dooku sacrificing herself for Quinlan was kind of like, oh, that was a really badass send off for her character. But it was kind of like a, she kind of sacrificed her in a sacrifice herself in a selfless way. So is that going to have something to do with how she was brought back, or the Night Sisters going to have something to do with it? I'm just very curious what's going to happen with that. But yeah, that's that's the that's the season two trailer. So. Uh, man, I'm stoked. I cannot wait. February 21st, man. So a little less than a month away. The final season. And we get a three-episode premiere, which is really badass. Hell, I may even take off of work that day just to and have the whole day just to chill and then just watch it, binge all three of them back to back. That'd be pretty cool. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm, I'm Hopefully this... Turns out right when I do the editing, but uh, I do appreciate y'all watching and tuning in the channel. Hope you had a good day or night when you're watching, and may the force be with you.